1965, a film hit the screens that revved up the excitement with its blend of comedy, adventure, and sheer spectacle. The Great Race boasts a colorful cast of characters and a plot as wild as a roller coaster ride. Directed by Blake Edwards, this movie promises plenty of laughs, gasps, and even a few tears along the way. As you buckle up for this cinematic journey, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny moments that will have you in stitches, shocking twists that will leave you wide-eyed, and poignant scenes that might just tug at your heartstrings. So, keep your eyes glued to the screen, you won't want to miss a second of the action. Now, let me ask you this, do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Perhaps it's a fond recollection of watching it with loved ones or laughing uncontrollably at a particular scene. Or maybe you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor whose performance stole the show. Share your stories and memories in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as the great race unfolds before your eyes. There's a lot in store, and trust me, you won't be disappointed. The Great Race offers a comedic rivalry between two early 20th century daredevils, the Great Leslie and Professor Fate. Despite its title, the film isn't solely about a race, but rather serves as a platform for various comedic homages to silent films. The narrative follows a series of slapstick vignettes that establish the rivalry and introduce the characters before leading into the race itself. Throughout the film, viewers are treated to spoof elements, including a western scene, an adventure on an ice pack, and a send-up of the prisoner of Zenda. The performances vary, with Tony Curtis portraying the great Leslie and Jack Lemmon as Professor Fate, each playing their characters with distinct tones. Natalie Wood brings charm to her role, while supporting actors like Keenan Wynn and Peter Falk shine in their respective roles. The set pieces display quality craftsmanship with standout moments such as the western scene and a fencing sequence, though some segments may feel overlong or lacking in comedic timing. Overall, The Great Race provides more laughs than misfires for a first-time viewer, offering a mix of humor and homage to classic cinema. Paying attention to Peter Falk's performance is recommended for maximum enjoyment. In the mid-60s, a movie starring Tony Curtis, Natalie Wood, and Larry Storch gained fame. Interestingly, these actors also worked together in another film, but their characters didn't have scenes together. Jack Lemmon, although not in that movie, was mentioned humorously. The opening music of the race, called The Great Race Gallop, had lyrics written by Johnny Mercer, which weren't used in the movie, but can be found on a CD released by the Dapper Dan Shave and a Haircut in 2000. This movie, like some like it hot, The Apartment and Days of Wine and Roses has cultural significance, it's been selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. In summary, it's a significant cinematic piece from the 1960s, featuring a talented cast and memorable music, adding to its cultural relevance. The Great Race, a famous movie from the 1960s, is still remembered today. Catherine Ross, a talented actress known for her roles in well-known films like The Graduate and Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid, was considered for parts in both. In 2004, Jim Carrey, a big fan of hers, gave her an award at the Oscars to honor her work in movies. This showed how much she meant to her fans and other actors. But Hollywood isn't always just about glitz and glamour. In 2020, Kim Novick talked about a bad experience she had at a party. She said someone put something in her drink and she woke up with no clothes on. This shows that there are sometimes really tough things that happen behind the scenes in Hollywood. These stories remind us that there are often hidden problems and difficulties in the lives of famous people. The Great Race is a famous movie, but it's just one part of the bigger story of Hollywood with its ups and downs. Hal Sloan, known for his work as a disc jockey in Utica, New York during the late 1930s and early 1940s, transitioned to Hollywood where he served as an announcer for Warner Brothers radio station KFWB. Sloan notably worked on The Jimmy Jackson Show and Jimmy Jackson's Memory Lane Show. His knack for humor was evident when he humorously lampooned Jimmy Jackson on an episode of The Andy Griffith Show. Sloan's legacy extended to his later collaboration with Jimmy Jackson's son, J.P. Sloan, on the Adventures of Odyssey program prior to his passing. Natalie Wood, originally known as Natalia Nikolaevna Zakrenko, underwent a name change at the age of four when her family Americanized their surname to Gurdon. At age seven, she adopted the stage name Wood, inspired by director Sam Wood. 
Despite her untimely passing, Wood's family continued to grow, with her daughter Natasha Gregson Wagner welcoming her first child, Clover Clementine Watson, in 2012 with husband Barry Watson. In the great race, Natalie Wood was known for her disciplined approach to filming. Despite the temptation, she limited herself to one glass of wine per night to ensure her performance remained sharp. However, anecdotes suggest that on another project, the last married couple in America, she indulged in margaritas after work. Tony Curtis portrayed the character Leslie Gallant Roman III, also known as the Great Leslie. His rival, Professor Fate, drove the Hannibal 8, a vehicle powered by a Corvair six-cylinder engine and three-speed transmission. The Hannibal 8 was an iconic creation, with six cars built for the movie, each costing $150,000. Dollar, however, the lifting mechanism proved fragile, often breaking during filming. These details offer insights into the behind the scenes of this classic film. The Great Race, a movie from 1965, features a notable age difference between Ernest Borgnine and his on screen son, despite their close relationship in another film. The primary writer of the radio police drama, The Lineup, he also contributed significantly to the film's development. Suzanne Finstad's book, Natasha, the Biography of Natalie Wood, sheds light on the controversial aspects of Natalie's life, including her relationships and untimely death. Her sister Lana Wood provides insights into Natalie's life, adding depth to the narrative. The Great Race is a classic film with intriguing behind-the-scenes stories, making it a noteworthy piece of cinematic history. The 1965 movie, The Great Race, gives us insights into various aspects of filmmaking and storytelling. One notable aspect is how actress Natalie Wood, who had a fear of drowning due to an incident during filming in 1949, had to overcome this fear with the help of director Elia Kazan during the filming of Splendor in the Grass in 1961. The director of The Great Race, Blake Edwards, had notable success in his career. Three of his films, including Breakfast at Tiffany's, Days of Wine and Roses, and The Pink Panther, have been recognized for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance by the National Film Registry. The movie also includes a sequence inspired by The Prisoner of Zenda, a classic story where a prince is kidnapped and replaced by an imposter. This homage is evident in the Potsdorf sequence, particularly during the dueling scene. In summary, the movie offers a glimpse into the challenges faced by actors, the achievements of its director, and the homage paid to classic stories in filmmaking. In a 1960 article, Macready indicated that two of his favorite TV roles were in The Diamond as Big as the Ritz and Thunder in the Night. Mickey Rooney was considered for the role of Max. In late 1970, it was announced that the production of The Man Born to be Queen in which he, Lionel Jeffries, Judy Geeson, and Wilfred Hyde White were to star had been delayed until spring 71, due to Tony being involved in filming The Persuaders, a television series for Lou Grade. In the finish, it was never made.